Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you guys a very simple little rig in Blender. This one is really kind of one of my favorites. It's a simple bendy bone rig. It only uses three bones. But the reason I like it is because it's so powerful, yet it's so easy to set up and create. And you can make as many of these as you want. You can use them to control basic cylindrical objects. Great for little limbs on characters or little kind of like bendy bone animations. So I'm going to show you step by step how to set this up. And uh, we'll even make this simple little cylinder just to kind of control it. And this will be great for any of your kind of like cartoony animations that you want to make in Blender. So this is a basic beginner's guide to a simple bendy bone rig in Blender 4.0. So jumping into Blender, um, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the default objects and press delete. And we're gonna go ahead, shift A, and under our mesh options, let's just add in a cylinder. And we're gonna go to our add cylinder settings here. And let's just go over here to the radius and make it 0.25 and hit enter. And uh, now we're just gonna come in here, um, let's just tab into edit mode. And just hovering over one of these edges, we can go control R, roll the middle mouse button, and we're just gonna roll it up until we got some um, even segments like this. So we have all of these little squares, okay? Just adding in some segments. So now we have a tube that we can deform, and I'm also just gonna go to my face select and just optionally select the top face. Holding and shift select the bottom face, and if you want to, you can go control B and just create a bevel and roll the middle mouse button. And I think that just kinda of looks cool, but the, this is not about making a cylinder. This is just about something to test with. So we're gonna go back into object mode. And with this, we'll uh, right click and go Shades Move. So now let's start by adding in our bones. So we're gonna go Shift A, and we're gonna go over down to our armature settings. And it's adding in a bone. So if you go into wireframe, you're gonna see the bone. Um, what you could do, or more ideally, is go over to your bone properties and go to the viewport display. And you should be able to go, and it might not be here, it might be on the data properties for the bone under the viewport display, you'd have to go and go in front. This way, even if you are in solid view, you can see your bone, which is kind of just a good way to work. So the default here is the octahedral bone. We can go to the display as here as well while we're under the viewport display and change it to B-bone. And B-bone is a really great one to work with for this sort of stuff where you wanna add segments, um, which you wouldn't really be able to do in the same way if you're working with some of the other options here. So B-bone is gonna be handy for that. B-bone, by the way, does stand for bendy bone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, I guess there are two things we can do. Um, it's more a matter of practice, but um, we could move this down, either in object mode or edit mode, or we can just grab our cylinder and just kind of place it, go G, Z, and move it up so it's sitting on the floor. Um, you know, probably just a good way to work. And then we're gonna select our bone here, and we're gonna go over here and change it to edit mode. And that's where we're gonna start adding some bones and adding some properties. So what we're gonna do in our front orthographic view, we're gonna grab this top handle here, this nub, I'm gonna go G and Z and move it down to about here. And we still have that nub selected there, that little orange nub at the top. And we're gonna go E to extrude and Z and extrude up on the Z. And we're gonna go up to about the top. And then while we have this little nub at the top, we're gonna go E to extrude and Z one more time to make the top nub. And that's all we want here is these three components. Um, to make things a little bit easier for us to see, we're gonna select this middle bone here. Let's go to the armature and let's go to transforms and let's just go scale B bone and then just move your mouse and we can just make it a little bit skinnier like so. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select with this, in fact, you should already have it selected, the middle bone here. And you're gonna press F2 and we're gonna call this bone the mid for middle. And we're gonna grab this bottom bone and we're gonna press F2 and let's call that base. And let's just grab the top, press F2 and we'll just call it top. Pretty straightforward, right? So um, before we add in the constraints, what we wanna do is select our middle bone here. We're gonna come over to our bone properties and under the bendy bones, we're gonna come here and give it some segments. So we're gonna go and give it something, um, let's go with 20 segments. So now it has 20 segments and that allowed us bend bone to bend. And before we can jump into pose mode and give this some constraints, we're gonna just create um, or grab the top bone here, the top bone, and we're gonna go Alt P, and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the bone, and we're gonna go Alt P again, and we're gonna clear the parent. So you want this to have no connection to these two bones here in the hierarchy. We're then gonna go over into pose mode, 
So we want this top control bone to be selected in pose mode and holding in shift, we're gonna select the middle bone because we want to create a hierarchy here. So once we've selected the top and then the middle bone, secondly, we're gonna go control shift and C or command shift C on a Mac. And you're gonna go ahead and give this a stretch to. And just like that, we have our basic um, bendy bone here. But the problem is, even though we can move this bone here, which will um, bend the middle bone, and we can grab the bottom one and move that, you'll notice as we're moving it, it's not following the rotation of the control bones, which is a bit of a problem because if we rotate this, we don't have that really important control. So what we need to do, we need to select the middle bone. I'm going to go over to our bone properties, and then we need to go over to bendy bone. And we just scroll down here and at the bottom, you're gonna see the start and end handle. So we're gonna go ahead and set both of these to absolute. So the top handle and uh, the start handle and the end handle here, set them both to absolute. So the start handle starts here at the bottom because that is the base. So with the middle bone selected, we wanna make sure that we go to that start handle and we wanna to go to the custom bone here and we wanna get that base bone. And then with the end handle here, that we've already set to absolute. We want to go here to custom and click there. And we want to grab that top one because it's the end of chain. So now if we grab this top bone and we go G to move, you can see it follows the rotation. So now if I left click to stop it and then go R to rotate, you can see we have that following along. And the same goes for the bottom bone. And now we have a very simple to create, but very powerful little bendy bone rig. So if you've moved anything, just go A to select it, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S, just to reset the basic transforms. So now all you have to do is go back into object mode, select the object that we want to control, holding in shift in object mode, select the rig and go control P, and then let's go with automatic weights. So now if we select this and we go into pose mode, we can now do the same thing, but this time, it's all parented. So now we can go G to move this, we can go R to rotate. We can do the same with the bottom one. And this is a super duper powerful, easy to use little rig you can make in Blender. If you wanna see things a little bit better, you can always select your rig or your object in object mode um, and just go into edit mode. Go over here to your material properties, create two materials, right? And let's call one of, just make one of them in the viewport display kind of like red. And the other one in the viewport display, you could make that, you know, maybe yellow. And then you can just kind of come in here and select every other kind of stripe running across. And then just assign that other material like so. And now if you, you know, bend it, you can see, you can see the form in a kind of better way, I think by seeing it like that, if that makes sense. And it just kind of looks cool and it gives you something to play with. And honestly, you could actually, you could probably actually tell a little story by treating this like a little character, kind of making it bounce around with animation. Um, so go ahead, play with this new little simple thing you've created. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you've liked it, definitely subscribe, check out some of my other content. I cover a lot more advanced topics than this, but I think this is a nice little beginner friendly one for today.